Hi, my name is Joseph Hausman, and I decided to do my wheelchair simulation assignment at Target and Lagomar Park in Kendall. While maneuvering around in the wheelchair, I realized that the skills I would need are uh, upper body strength to constantly turn the wheels of the chair, as well as muscle memory and memory in general of how to effectively uh, maneuver myself in the, in the wheelchair. Um, tasks that I found myself uh, unable to complete while in the wheelchair were uh, reaching, let alone seeing, the higher shelves on a store to purchase anything. Um, as well as opening doors, because it turns out we, we kind of take for granted uh, how much force it takes to open a door. So uh, moving on, uh, some of the barriers I had came into contact with were architectural barriers uh, when it came to Lagomar Park, as there weren't any curb cuts so I can get onto the sidewalk to enter the park. Uh, in addition, transportation issues, as I had to have a friend fold the chair and put it in the car or take it out of the car every time we had to go to a certain place. My reactions to this simulation were that I was quite surprised at how I was able to adjust to maneuvering and moving in the wheelchair, but I was also uh, surprised at how I was unable to do some things, which makes me realize that we take for granted those things. Um, in addition, gauging people's reactions of seeing me in the wheelchair, um, it wasn't too difficult to you know, see what they were thinking, because you can read body language and looks but it's obvious that it ranged from pleasant and hospitable to uh, uncomfortable uh, and knowing they're not participating or engaging in the over-exaggeration over assumption um, all the way to even uh, hints of, of disgust when people uh, looked at me uh, either directly or through peripheral use.
somebody else's shoes and to see what they go through on a daily basis and doing things on their own uh, while putting up with the reactions of other people. It makes me realize that we can't take for granted what we have in our lives.